Shortly after the Civil War in the late 1860s, a creative engineer named John Roebling was inspired to build a completely new type of bridge connecting New York with Long Island. The public and the building experts at the time thought it was impossible. Roebling received a lot of criticism for his idea. However, he was compelled to bring the vision in his mind to real life. He needed help though and convinced his son, who was also an engineer, to work together as a dynamic father-son team. Together, they were able to overcome the design obstacles and hire a crew to build their dream bridge. A few months into the project, a tragic accident took the life of the father. Washington, the son, was also severely injured. He had brain damage which ended his ability to walk and talk. In fact, the only thing he could do was move one finger. The press, experts, and the public called the Roeblings foolish men following crazy dreams. Look at what happened to them. The dad dies and the son can only move one finger. Pressure built to stop the entire project. Even the work crew had serious doubts as they had never seen anything like this constructed before. Washington and Emily, his wife, appeared to be the only people convinced the bridge could be built. Although this project had barely began, Washington knew there had to be a way to finish it. All he could do was move one finger, so he decided to make the most of it. Emily and Washington developed a code of communication where he would tap on her arm. She would translate the messages and pass them on to the engineers and work crew. For 13 years, Washington tapped out his instructions on his wife's arm. In 1883, the spectacular Brooklyn Bridge was completed. The bridge stands today as a triumph of one man's indomitable spirit and his determination not to be defeated by circumstances. It also stands as a monument to the love and devotion Emily gave for 13 long years she spent decoding messages. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe for more videos like this.